Hey, welcome back to the book of Philippians. We're at chapter 4, verses 2 and 3. Paul has now gone into the last segment of his book, and he usually gives a list of people and little counsels to them at the end. Let's hear what he has to say in these verses we're looking at today. I implore Euodia and I implore Syntyche to be of the same mind in the Lord. And I urge you also, true companion, help these women who labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and the rest of my fellow workers whose names are in the book of life. So here's a couple of local church workers. You know, you have ladies and men and women and children in your church where you uh, worship. He says, I want to implore Yodia and I implore Sinteke. Be of the same mind. These might be some ladies who disagreed with each other sometimes. And maybe they disagreed in a, in a way that was open, in a way that was uh, bringing, bringing confusion to the congregation. And Paul says, whatever your disagreement is, you know, I want you to try harder. I want you to submit yourself to the Lord Jesus and not be at odds with each other. Is that too much to ask? He wants them to be of the same mind, which same mind you might have noticed now as we've gone through almost the whole book of Philippians. We're finishing off now in the last chapter. Being, you know, having the mind of Christ, being united together in the work of God, these are key thoughts here in the book of Philippians. He says, help these women who labored with me in the gospel and the rest of my fellow workers. So there's just a basic piece of humanity here. We all have the fallen nature. We've all indulged that fallen nature. We've all developed some habits in that fallen nature. When we come to Jesus, he's ready to transform us. But you know what? Those old memory patterns are still there. Those old, uh, old pathways are still there. If we get tired and cranky, we can go back and we might easily go back to some of our old habits. That's not what we're supposed to do. And so there's just some counsel here for the church. You know, we need to actually make an intentional effort to be of the same mind. If you're not making an intentional effort to be in the, of the same mind as your brethren, then there's a problem on your side. There's a problem on your side. You need to make an intentional effort. That's what Paul's saying here. He's encouraging some of the gospel workers to help, help the people, help some of the people who have frictions with each other, help them to get past that business and come up to the next level. We won't always agree. We don't have to always agree. Why does everybody have to agree with everything? We don't. But what we need to do is to seek to be of the same mind. And God will bless that in a mighty way if we'll just let him do that kind of a work in us. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we have a consistent need to come up higher. We have a consistent way of falling backwards into old habits, falling backwards into old frictions and fights with each other. Lord, it shouldn't be. We don't want to make the devils happy. We want to make the devils gloomy. And so, Lord, we just pray that you will instead help us to find common ground with each other, to agree, to disagree sometimes. Help us to pray for each other instead of fighting with each other. And Lord, you'll add the blessing. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Wherever the Eodias and Syntychas are among us or in our congregations, Lord, may we pray for them and help them to come up higher and be closer to your plan for them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There's some help for us in our local church. God be with you.